Hello guys, welcome to Momodora, Reverie Under the Moonlight. This is a 2D side-scrolling platformer, and I really like the artwork that went into this. So let's just take a look at it, and maybe we'll play a little bit into it. So you can play this with the keyboard, or the controller. And we'll play with the controller, I have an Xbox One controller. There are three different settings for difficulty, hard, easy, normal. We'll just play on normal. I'm afraid this is as far as I can take you. I'm sorry, anything close to the city is too dangerous. Surely, that shouldn't be a problem for a priestess like you. Fighting using a leaf must be difficult. But I have faith in your ability to seal the curse away. It has spread to your land too, after all. For now, maybe the best you can do is seek an audience with our queen. So we are priestess. <laughs> we look a lot like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> maybe there's a big bad wolf here somewhere. But look at the, the pixelated graphics here. There's a lot of stuff going on. The grass even moves when you uh, run through it. So we jump on A. Jump again mid-air to reach greater heights. Alright, so we're rolling through a little bit of a tutorial here. Go through thin platforms, push down an A. There's something over there, but there's also something down here. There's a chest. We can uh, hit it, so it opens up. And we grab these little stars that I'm not sure what it does. Let's see if we can jump up here, we can. Drop down. So what is this? Inspect, push up, got bellflower. Open menu, okay. So we have a map, keys and equipment. Active slots, passive slots. Don't have anything to put in the passive slots. So we have this bellflower. Active effect restores a small amount of HP per use. Grab that. So we press Y to use the equipped item, but we don't want to restore health right now. We are full. So we melee attack on X this <laughs> we hit the tomato right in the head and this is not like uh, Gianna's sisters we're not going to be able to jump on these guys we will take damage like there I just touched it it was a bad idea <laughs> so don't touch the tomato this is the fourth installment I believe in the series I have not played any of the other ones There's something over there, let's shoot that. So we get these little platforms coming out of the spikes. So we're gonna jump over there. So I'm surprised at the lack of background music, but there's some ambient sound effects, that's pretty nice. Hit bells to save progress and restore your items. And we can also pray if you press up. So we can save. Let's do that. There's also a menu option to warp, but we can't do that yet. So I guess that's fast travel. But we do pray a little bit in our hour of need, and we do need an audience with the queen. Roll behind enemies. Press B. I still hit it. Yeah, if you just as much as touch these guys, you uh, take instant damage. So this one's throwing something. It's also uh, fairly naked. And now she's dead. It looks like little fairies throwing stuff. No, I can't hit it from here. So we're gonna have to dodge that stink bomb or whatever that is. Ah! Ah, so now we got poisoned. <laughs> and uh, the little stars fell down onto the spikes. So we take those guys out, but I, I also sort of used that bellflower. We had uh, three charges of it, I already used one to restore health, and that was actually a mistake. <laughs> I just panicked when they uh, jumped down on both sides of us right there. So I wonder if we can hit in there. Ah, uh, maybe not. So I think the, the safe bet would be to try and shoot these people, but they have uh, shields and they block. 
You want to drop down behind her, I guess. Ah, <laughs> she's on to me. She figured that out. So they're making like little laughing noises. Maybe it's fairies. So here we have one throwing stink bombs and one blocking. Cheeky little bastards. And we cannot drop down onto it or we'll take damage. Maybe we can get her to come over here. Yeah, now she's moving a little bit. Ah, she just moves around random. Ah, she throws a knife. Cheeky bastard. But if you do hit them, they're sort of a little bit stun locked. Uh, I think we need to eat another of these flowers. There we go. Get the health back up a little bit. So she can't hit us. But we can't hit her. Uh, so we need to roll behind her. I wish you could block. I don't think we can. Ah, come on. <laughs> Alright, never mind that. We'll just hit this way. We've got two cheeky little fairies throwing uh, stuff at us from up there. So that's one down. I guess we need to hit that with an arrow. We need to be standing up here. Did I hit it? Yeah, I think so. I don't think we're going to bother with that little guy over there. So I'm not even sure what you do with the stars. And I think we would take damage from trying. So praying does not restore health, unfortunately. Let's just save here. You can drop down here. You find an ivory buck, one out of 20. Ah, okay. So maybe it's sort of an achievement system. So I heard the laugh of one of these little fairy girls. Ah, she hit me with that stink bomb. I, I just want to get up on the platform then. Ah, we have to jump on this trampoline. Ah, we got poisoned. Double jump there. Yeah, there we go. So, what's going on here? Nothing by the looks of it. Let's sit down here. There's another fairy that likes stink bombs. Did we just get poisoned? Ah, okay, it lingers in the air after the stink bomb hits. Um, so we need to be careful not to drop down too soon. We're going to have to eat another one of these bill flowers. Are those uh, recharged? Ah, I see what they did. It's like uh, like Estus flasks in Dark Souls. Oh, that was not part of the plan. We have another Estus. Ah, we can uh, hit these arrows that they throw and that'll dodge them. <laughs> but, but other than that, <laughs> it did not work out. Let's see if we can make it past this stinking thing here. But yeah, the bill flower is uh, basically an Estus flask because when we prayed at the save point, it uh, restocked it, so we had three charges. And now we don't have any. Because I sort of fucked up a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's take out this guy here. So when they're stunned, they don't, you don't take damage when you move into them. Ah! From behind. Tomato. Don't treat little red riding hood like that. Uh, we don't want to run into that thing there. Ah, so they just keep blocking. I guess you could try and, f and uh, hit one of the arrows and throw it back at them, but <laughs> it did not work out. I don't think it actually gets thrown back at them. I think you just uh, make sure that it doesn't hit you. So in, in a way you can block by attacking, if you can hit whatever they throw at you. So let's hit down here again. And this is where I, I fucked up. Because so that lingers in the air, whatever it is he's throwing out. Let's just wait a little bit and then... Ah, I fucked up again. <laughs> Too soon. Let's jump down. And use the arrows. We just don't want to get off the ledge there. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately I came too close. It seems like the safest thing to use is the arrows. So 
So what are these guys gonna do? There goes the knives, so let's just jump over them really and head out. And wait for this. Oh, we didn't go uh, on the left here before. <laughs> that one we can't kill. Ah, oh, we can talk to her. I have no business with you. Go away. Go away, you stupid girl. Hmm, not very friendly. Let's try again. So it doesn't look like there's anything to do here. Maybe we can melee her. Nope. Let's head back out. So there must be something if we go down south from here. Because there's a little uh, ledge we can jump off there. So just hit the last uh, bellflower by mistake. Uh, as a chest. Got all of those stars. There must be a shop system, maybe, or maybe we can buy some uh, abilities later. Ah, so they respawn all of them, even uh, even the one we just killed. Ah, don't want to get caught in that. I think we'll just uh, make a run for it. Uh, duck under that. I'm gonna hit those that jump. So the arrows we uh, shoot will also deflect their knives. Alright, so now it should be more manageable. Someone up there throwing stink bombs. <laughs> Luckily in the wrong direction. So that's a dead end. Can't crawl through there, so we have to head the other way. Maybe it's a shortcut you can open up, like in the uh, Dark Souls. Oh, ah, this is bad. Let's run. Until I know what I'm missing out on for not killing every enemy on the screen, <laughs> I'm just not gonna do it. Ah, they can take a lot of arrows. There we go. Right in the face, and she's gonna throw the bombs. <laughs> Tricky. Ah, maybe we can uh, double jump here and still hit her. I wish we could aim upwards with the with the bow. Ah, here's another save point. So we'll save here, guys. Restore our Estus flask. Ah, it's a boss. <laughs> Anthropod demon, idea. And these uh, arrows don't seem to do much. We need to hit its head, I think. Something that it uses to throw at us, a big wrecking ball. Oh, we are taking some uh, health out of it, but we do need to hit it, I think, when it's vulnerable. <laughs> just one shot at us. <laughs> Alright, let's just try that again. So here it comes. So go straight for its head. And that took a little bit of health. And I will retreat. <laughs> it's gonna try and poison us there. Ah, damn it. Don't do that, a deer. My dear Anthropod. So I think it. Ah, what the hell? If you get hit by that ball, it one shots you. I thought we were doing great. I was just about to say we're doing okay. All right, so we need to be very careful about that ball. And maybe just have to heal up a little bit more. 
So here's Lydia again. So let's get in two strikes and then we'll retreat. Sometimes it gets a little bubble around its head and I think that's a tilt when it's going to strike. Almost had us there. So that's the tilt and a bomb. Another tilt, <laughs> it's another bomb. It's just heal up. That's the tail again. Yeah, that's the ball. You don't want to get hit by that ball. That's really uh, the worst thing I can have. So hit us with the stink bomb there. Ah, poisoned. Heal up. Let's heal again. We almost have it. So the tail. It's a poison. Don't want to get hit by that either. Ah, the tilt. <laughs> Just don't hit me with the ball, please. <laughs> we will not survive that. There's the tilt again. Ah, we doing all right. We should have it. There we go. Right in the face. And the ball is gone. We broke its ball. It's gonna be so sad about that. It turned to stone, I think. Yeah. And now we can move past it. Uh, there's no save point here. <laughs> so if we die here, we're gonna have to fight it again. We can't jump down there. Ah, that's really cool. Look at the reflection there in the lake. They've done a lot of great stuff with the graphics in this game. So who's this guy? Is that a panda bear? <laughs> you can talk to him. So he coughs a little bit. I'm sorry, who are you? I see, so you are Kahu. Huh? What a unique name. Call me Ascorn. Like Acorn, but with an S. I take it you are unaware of the situation of these lands. And then he coughs again. He's sick. You mentioned your journey brought you here in search of the queen. If you really intend to continue further into the kingdom of Karst, beware. A ghastly presence has been enveloping everything. This sacred grove is one of the few untouched spots. Karst city is ahead, as dangerous as it is now. I must visit it to search for a beloved one. And then he coughs again. He's really sick. Mr. Ascon. I've been asleep for a hundred years, enough to make me unfamiliar with this kingdom. In my days, people would come to this grove and pray to higher deities. The people of this kingdom may have lost their faith, but I still have mine within me. Perhaps it was those heretic actions that led us to the present state of events. Alright, so we'll leave Mr. Ascon to contemplate his reflection in the lake and move on. Here's the city, cast city. Yeah, the graphics are really nice. I really like what they did with the uh, artwork in this game. So here's the save point. All is well and good. We can recharge our Estus flask and save the game. Alright guys, that's all for now. We'll continue in the next episode. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.